May is a great time to see short blooming wildflowers in the Northeast. Trout lilies, trillium, and Dutchman's britches are all taking their turns blooming on the forest floor. We're gonna go on a trail hike and see if we can find more. This is But Why from Vermont Public, where we explore the science behind what's happening in your local landscape each month. I'm Jane Lindholm, and here we are in North Hero, Vermont at Camp Ingalls to explore wildflowers. Spring is a great time to see wildflowers around where you live, and we're joined today by the Nature Conservancy's Jack Markowski to learn a little bit more about a few of them. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jane. So we're sitting right next to the trail, not in a bed of flowers, mm. but next to them so we don't damage any. And these beautiful white flowers are called trillium. What can you tell us about them? These flowers are really beautiful. They're so easy to identify just in that they have three petals, three sepals, and three leaves. And that's a really quick way to identify them and just enjoy the extent of them. Clearly, they're abundant here. And what's special about springtime flowers like these? Yeah, so what's I love the most about spring ephemerals is that they have such this narrow window of time that they are photosynthesizing and, and appearing to our eyes, right? And so they're coming up from the ground after the ground thaws, so really short period, all the way to when the leaves come out in the canopy. And that can change in the year and really make it a magical time to find ephemerals. Jack has mentioned this word ephemeral a couple of times now, and it's one of my favorite vocabulary words. Ephemeral means only around for a very short time, and a lot of wildflowers in our region in the spring are just blooming for a week or two each year, and they happen at different times during the spring. So you're gonna wanna go out in your local landscape at different times throughout the spring to be able to see very cool wildflowers. Now, Jack, can you tell us a little bit more about some of the other flowers we might be seeing in early May here in Vermont? Yeah, so we might see some things like trout lily, which usually come out a little bit later. We'll definitely see some jack in the pulpit. Some wild ginger are hanging around still, and I hope to find some of them. All right, let's go. Awesome. There's some wild ginger down that Ooh, way. Can we go look? Let's do it. Wait, this is ginger? Yeah, wild ginger. So. It's really easy to miss, right? It's got these little tiny flowers that lie on the ground of the forest floor and are pollinated by flies that emerge from the soil in the spring. It's really beautiful. We just found one of my favorite plants. In fact, we have found a lot of them, but this one looked like kind of a perfect specimen. It's called a jack in the pulpit. Can you tell us about this plant? Yeah, so immediately it's such a unique shape, right? We have the leaf stalk here with three leaves, but we also have what's called the leaf bract, which is the pulpit in question. And then lifting up the leaf bract, we can see the tiny little flower, which is Jack in the name, which maybe <laughs> makes me a little biased towards the flower name. So it's actually just the little part we call Jack that's the flower of this plant? Yeah, so Jack in the pulpit, the unique shape we're talking about is so interesting and I love to spot them in the woods, but also the fact that it's not technically a true ephemeral in that it's fruiting well after the leaves come out in the canopy and that separates it from some of the flowers we've seen today. And you'll start to see the fruit in the late summer and the early fall in the form of a cluster of red berries. Can we go find one more flower to look at today? Maybe a true ephemeral this time? I'd love that. Okay. Okay, we have one more flower to look at today, and this one is cool because it's showing us multiple different stages on one plant. I'm really excited we got to see this flower. It's early May and it's almost past, but this is Dutchman's breeches. And it's named that because it looks like pants hanging from a clothesline a little bit, <laughs> little white pants. And so, like you said, we're seeing the different phases of this. And again, even in early May, it's starting to set to seed. We see this little seed pod here. And what's interesting about spring ephemerals is that with their seed, they have attached what's called an eliasome. An eliasome is this package of fat and nutrients that are available to ants as seed dispersers. And they take them back to their colonies and that helps to germinate the seeds and keep these plants thriving in our woods. And how cool that we got to see it just a couple days from now, these flowers could be completely gone. I feel really lucky. Well, thank you, Jack, for showing us around. Thanks to the Nature Conservancy and Camp Ingalls for providing us this beautiful spring ephemeral display. It was my pleasure. Thanks so much for having me.